In Solar Leveling Arise, we have three brand new artifact sets, and these all make the old artifact sets look like absolute trash in comparison, which is why in this video, I'll be going over every single hunter in the game, and I'll be showing you all which one of these three new artifact sets are the best on them. And who else to better start off with than the main man himself, Song Jin Woo. And his best artifact set is going to be the Burning Curse artifact set, and this will be on the eight set effect, as you can get a ton of damage increases. However, it also does increase the amount of damage that you take, but to be honest, it's a definitely worthy trade-off for, for sure. And then next we have the latest character that has been added to the Hunter roster and that is going to be Maylene Fisher. And her best new artifact set is going to be the Burning Blessing gear set as this gear set on the 8 set effect and, and also the 4 and 2 set effects are all about buffing your team's damage whilst also being able to apply healing to your team as well. And then following Maylene Fisher we have Seo Jiwu as well who is now a free character in the game which is amazing. And Seo Jiwu is probably the one of the only characters that can actually utilize multiple gear sets as overall the Burning Greed gear set is going to be the best one for her as on the 8 set effect you can increase your break effectiveness by 30% whilst also increasing your whole team's critical hit rate by 15% and also their crit damage by an additional 30% as well and because she can also be run as a DPS the burning curse gear set can also be used on her for all the damage increases that it does give. Emma Lauren is next and she is practically the exact same thing with Seo Jiwu as overall the best gear set for her is going to be the burning greed gear set as you can utilize all, all the buffs and extra break effectiveness with it however you can also use Burning Blessing as well, as you can always utilize the damage increases and also healing that the gear set does apply. Alicia Blanche is definitely by far one of, if not maybe the best DPS in the game right now. And when you do pair her up with the Burning Cursed gear set, you can get a bunch of damage increases, as I've always mentioned before. With Libor being a pretty good DPS, she is going to definitely run some similar gear sets as well. And that will also be the Burning Curse. However, if you wanted to run her more as a supportive based character, which she definitely can be ran as, then the Burning Blessing gear set, giving the damage increases and also healing healing can also be actually pretty useful on her as well. Wang Dong Su is just your generic DPS character, which means out of the three new artifact sets, the Burning Curse gear set will definitely be his best one. Next up is Min Byungu, and he is definitely the best support in the game, or at least in my opinion anyways. And with his strong abilities of healing and also damage increasing, it will 100% make the Burning Blessing gear set the best one that you can use for him. Wu Jin Chol is a character to recently receive quite a few buffs and is actually a lot better now. And just like Seo Ji Woo and also Emma Lauren, the Burning Greed gear set will be the best one for him. As his whole kit does work around spamming a lot of skills and, and doing a lot of break damage so you might as well utilize the extra break effectiveness that you can get as well as also having the ability to increase your whole team's crit stats as well but then of course just like also with Seo Jiwoo and Emma Lawrence, you can run him as a main DPS so you could run Burning Curse as well or you could also run Burning Blessing as well to increase your team's damage. Choi Jong In is one of the most unique DPS characters in the game as he cannot crit which instantly makes the Burning Curse gear set by far the best one for him as it doesn't have anything to do with crit stats and stuff like that and just gives you flat damage increases. For Lim Tae Gyu being a ranger, he also has a ton of different options that you can use on him, as the best gear set for him will be the Burning Curse gear set, as you do want to run him as your main DPS in most of the scenarios that you, that you actually use him in. However, because he does actually have a ton of break damage within his kit, being his core attack, which he can get very quickly thanks to his first basic skill, as well as also just a bunch of different things in his kit, then the Burning Greed gear set as well, if you want to run him as more of a supportive sort of sub DPS kind of character, then you can actually run this gear set to buff your whole team's crit stats whilst also giving him a lot more break damage as well. But you know just like a character like Wu Jinchul is going to have very similar builds as the best artifact set that you'll want to go with it will be the Burning Greed gear set as well but with Baek Yunho's ability to do, actually do a lot of damage in general thanks to his passive and just other things in general then the Burning Curse gear set's damage increases can also be very useful. And then for the penultimate SSR hunter Silvermane Baek Yunho definitely likes to use one gear set over the others and that is going to definitely be the Burning Curse set as with this set increasing the amount of damage that you do take by 20%, Bake You Know can actually benefit from that quite a bit. As Silvermane Bake You Know basically works off of being able to deal more damage with the more damage that he's actually taken, so that'll be very, very good for him. And then the final SSR hunter is Char Hain, and she is definitely also one of, if not maybe the best DPS hunter in the game, which also instantly makes the Burning Curse gear set the best one for her. Onto SR hunters, and Nam Chae Young is definitely one of the best SR hunters in the game, as she offers a lot of CCing as well as just support in general, and she also has a ton of break damage which makes the burning greed set amazing for her but you can also run burning blessing as well if you would like to to run her just more as a damage support who can also heal your team as well if you are struggling with the amount of damage that you do take in fights then we have park biomshik who i believe is all about using his core attack to deal damage and also just applying a ton of different buffs through his passive which will easily make the burning curse set one of his best ones as although normally park biomshik being one of the worst sr hunters in the game won't be able to deal much damage however with these new artifacts being of level 78 it does mean their main 
15 and also substats are going to be much larger than level 55 artifacts, which is going to make pretty much anybody in the game be able to deal pretty good damage. Anna Ruiz has a ton of break damage in her kit and is definitely one of the better characters for the Cerberus boss, which will instantly make Burning Greed one of her best artifacts as, as you can utilize the break effectiveness amazingly, as well as being able to increase your whole team's crit stats will always be fantastic. But if you need some damage increases and also a bit more sustainability, then the Burning Blessing gear set will also be amazing. Kim sang can actually suffer from a lack of break damage, even though he is a tank, which will make the Burning Greed set his best one by far, as being able to increase your break effectiveness once again will always be amazing. Han Song Yi is up next and she is definitely a okay DPS in the game. She's nothing too crazy, nothing too special. And with her being a DPS, again, the Burning Curse gear set will be the best one for her. Huang Dong Suk is one of the better SR hunters in the game as he is one of the only dark characters that can actually deal break damage. And because he does want to deal a lot of break damage, again, the Burning Greed set will be his best one. But as always with characters like this that do run a more of a supportive role in your team and don't deal out a lot of damage, it does mean you can also run Burning Blessing as well if you would like a bit more sustainability. Joe Qhan is up next and he is a main DPS mage character and all of his damage pretty much comes from burning the targets to increase his own attack stat and also getting other damage bonuses through his basic skills which again makes the burning curse set his best one by far. Song Shield is a very similar story however he can be run more of a sub DPS but that doesn't mean the burning curse set can't be one of his best ones as the damage increases will always be amazing but because his job is mainly just to group enemies together so you can do a bunch of AOE damage the burning blessing set can be useful as well. Lee Juhi is very similar to all the other healers in the game, which means the Burning Blessing set will be her best one that you want to use on her, as you can apply a ton of healing, as well as also some nice damage increases. Eugene Ho is one of the most versatile characters in the game, as he does apply pretty much everything that you can think of, as he has the ability to heal your teammates, buff their stats, and also give things like shields. But because he does have a lot of break damage in his kit, the Burning Greed set will be the best one overall, but you can also use the Burning Blessing as well to give a bit more healing to your team. And then Kang Taishik is one of the best SR DPS hunters in the game, thanks to his ability to deal a ton of damage against bleeding targets, which is really good. So the flat damage increases from the Burning Curse set will stack very nicely with a lot of his different dupes, especially if you do have Kang Taishik and Max dupes. And then Park Heejin being one of the best ultimate supports in the game, she'll have quite a few different options that you can also use, as if you want to run her as a main DPS, again, Burning Curse will always be amazing, but you could also use Burning Blessing as well to increase your teammate's damage. And then finally, Kim Chul is an amazing tank hunter in the game, as he has a ton of break damage, whilst also offering your team damage reduction, and also shield creation, which means just like every other supportive tank character in the game, it does mean Burning Greed alongside the Burning Blessing set will definitely be his best ones. So there you have it. Those are all of the three brand new artifact sets and which hunters uh, work best on them. And overall, if you did enjoy this video or you just found it just useful in general, then don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps a ton. And click the link down below to support me as a creator because right now I have a ton of coupon codes for 1000 Essence Stones. So if you want a free 1000 Essence Stones, then be sure to support me as a creator and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.